Oreo Bloom reaching up for the scrub plum. Come on, ladies, you gotta go join the yos and lambs. Go on. Come on. Come on. Hey, come back here. Come on, you. Past my rubbish pile. Oh, are you gonna go around? There we go. Well, not my rubbish pile. Useful items for later use. I've got to strim some of these nettles. Got a large population of nettles now on the farm. Come on, move. Loving this, aren't you? Ain't Maya, leave it. Now, this is going to be the tricky part. I want them to go in with the yos and lambs, but the yos and lambs might come out because I opened the gate. But in creating this alleyway, they can't go anywhere but in this alleyway between what I've planted in here and the silver birch and that bit of fence. So when I open this, I'd say the first one up is going to be either ebony or little bit. Because I want to put the alpaca in. Whoop, there we go. Speak of the devil. And that's little bit. Who says she wants to go up the alleyway? Okay, so I'm going to slide that open. And your muck savage is gone. Okay, so this could be fun. She's going to munch that. Yep, more yos are coming up. <laughs> no, you're not going anywhere. Look, there's Muck Savage. And I've got to go back up here and get the alpaca to go. You're coming with me, are you, huh? Okay, guys, come on. Go on. Go on. Go on, you back down. Go on. No, no, no. Come on. Go on. No, not my baby birch. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. This way. Having this alleyway is like a, a, a separate paddock when things are in the wrong place. Come on. Come on, little bit. Shift it. Come on. Come on. Go on. Go on, little bit. You're the one that started this whole thing. Come on. Come on. Go on. Go on. Come on, come on, Judy. No, you're not Judy. Come on, come on. Move, move, move. There we go. Ha! I closed the gate on you a little bit. You're not getting out. And the alpaca are here. I do have to get you guys a mineral lick though. I know that, because you're missing a mineral lick. As you can see, the deep shade is sheltering a lot of the flock from the sun. There's loads of glass, grass still in this field. And loads of shade too. This beautiful copper beech is a good example. This copper beech was planted by my brother. It would be over 35 years ago now. So that's a... That could be a 40-year-old tree at this stage. Okay.